All right, 10:33, and uh, I fought that smoky fire for about 45 minutes to get this meal cooked, and uh, I decided to come lay on the air mattress and eat breakfast. So I know this is a pretty obsessive, compulsive thing to do, but. I haven't really had meat in about two weeks, so, you know, I splurged last night on munchies, and today splurge is meat. Uh, check out this plate of food. <laughs> um, it's basically eight strips of bacon and six pieces of sausage and uh, four eggs and a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> so, forgive me, but uh, I'm tearing it up because I haven't been able to tear it up in a while. So we're just gonna sit here and let you watch us revel in meat. So we got our Dr. Pepper going. Oh yeah, for the record, we're pretty stoned. I mean, we, you know, smoked a little weed this morning. But if you notice, when I smoke weed, I build fires and make breakfast and get up and still do what I do. I know this is a huge jokey rationalization, but uh, I don't have a problem with weed. The only problem with weed I have is, is when I don't have any. It's the only problem I got with weed. I'm just joking. Smoking pot is stupid. Not only that, but I'll be honest with you once again, like every time, when uh, they showed up with the smokes and weed and the food and everything yesterday, I was like, cool. I smoked some pot. And I was like, this is stupid. I stressed over this and freaked over this for a week. I drove myself nuts. I get it. I take a hit or two and I'm like, hmm, not that neat. So, that's just the good old mental addiction. The fact that my mind and my body actually, my body still thinks it's good for me. My mind is like, I hate that shit. But I tell you what, if we were up on a hill or something, if we weren't nestled into the trees like we are right here and didn't have this windbreak, um, our camp would be down in the Columbia River right now because it's blowing like a son of a bitch. And my tarp's taking a beating just with the way it's blowing right now. So if it was, if it was, if I was more exposed, I will be gone. So we had ribs and corn on the cob for dinner last night. And I gotta tell you, I think they were probably the best ribs in the world. Just because they got eaten out here. Um, and we had all sorts of snacks before bed last night um, I've drank I've probably drank I don't know Woo! lost the sausage I've probably drank like six of those these coke things so I guess the lesson here for me the rational mind or the rationalizing mind that I have lesson for me is don't run out of shit and then you won't splurge and binge because right now that's all I'm doing is binging I'm just like I haven't had it so I want it and um, it's not healthy not only that but anything in moderation you can eat bacon and eggs for breakfast 
on Sunday. But you can't do it every day. You can fucking, you know, smoke a little weed, but you don't need to wake and bake. <laughs> you don't need to wake up, roll over, take a hit, spend the rest of your day stoned. Um, it's not necessary. It's stupid, so... We're going to try to practice a little moderation. Because now I'm really on my own. I mean, I... You know, if I'm... Taking care of the food by myself now... Um, you know, I'm on my own. I'm responsible and counting on myself. <laughs> that means nobody's making any more trips up here for me. So, I'm pretty full. If you haven't noticed, I'm slowing down. But everything's so good. Do got a badass little camp. For what it is and the city boy that built it. I have to say, not bad. Now I'm just eating because it's sitting there. I got an ant right underneath my ball sack. In my pants and my underwear. Actually, no, I'm not rocking underwear, so that made it easier for them. But uh, they don't bite. And if you grab them, they squish. And they're pussy yellow all over you. So you're better off to just let them figure out a way out. Hopefully it's not through your butthole. That would suck. An ant going in your butthole. Yeah, your butthole. Mm. Just sitting in grease. You see it dripping off. <laughs> Yeah, this would be a perfect spot for a cabin like this. You got a little windbreak. I'd like it to be up a little higher, but... Honestly, I was just thinking about how many laws you're breaking by coming out here building a cabin. <laughs> Probably about 15 of them. It's, uh, yeah. So, just thinking out loud, or I guess I was thinking not out loud, and then I decided to talk out loud and tell you what I was thinking, which results in thinking out loud.
I'm so freaking meat stuffed right now. I swear to God, I just gained seven pounds and took at least three weeks off my life. But notice I'm still going. Ugh. All right. You will be happy and or unhappy to know Oh my god. Oh. I finished it. Oh shit. I want to die. <laughs> it's definitely smoky acres here, man. I tell you what. In one way or another, all the wood that we've ever burned has been <coughs> wet. Excuse me, by the way, that was wrong. But it will do it uh, again. So, our son's going to hit the island here in a little bit. Like I said earlier, I want to finish that damn book. Um, I just realized I had breakfast in bed out next to the creek. Oh my god, my tummy. I know, I said tummy. <sighs> so now we probably ought to clean up our mess and smoke a cigarette. And do things like that. Get this little ant guy off me, see him here. <laughs> They're just everywhere. So I'm going to turn this off and I'll check in with you later.